Well, it was an incredible week last week. Looking at the uh, the S and P has gone through the forty six hundred now. It's been flying, but like I've said before, it's looking extremely overbought at the moment. So, you know, we have to be cautious with long trades here. But it is looking pretty long at the moment, pretty good. And uh, but I am expecting where the money flows this week, a little bit of a correction. Well, we shall see. We shall see if we get it or not. Just enough for us to get a nice purchase into these indexes. The DAX has gone through the roof. Absolutely crazy. But at the end of the day, we've got to find a trade this week or a couple of trades. So uh, what are we going to be looking at today? And uh, what are we interested in? Don't forget, trading's risky. It's uh, it's a risky game. 80% of traders lose money, and <laughs> you probably will too, just like all of us. It's a 50-50 game. Markets go up, markets go down. There are no guarantees. But anyway, the US dollar, Canadian dollar, that is still going long, still going up pretty well, and uh, we're pretty happy with that. So... Well, we shall see. We'll see what happens there as well. Um, the, there is a possibility that it could still go go a little bit short, but uh, we prefer the long trade on that. The Euro Great British Pound. Now, let's see. The Euro Great British Pound. What shall we do with that? Well, that looks like a good short trade if it gets up to the 8600 level. So... We'll look to short that. And, uh, well, we just got to wait for it to come into play. We were waiting for it last week, and it didn't come into play, so we'll see what happened. Wow, last week the US dollar, Japanese yen, went completely nuts and went tumbling down. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see this week if there's any opportunities there. Keep an eye on it. It seems to have turned a little bit and gone back up. But um, I think the preferred trade on this at the moment is short. So we'll keep an eye out for a good short on that. Wall Street absolutely still flying. The Nasdaq still flying. So, uh, yeah, where are we going to go? The, the FTSE is still in its range. It hasn't moved much. <laughs> I think today what we'll do is we'll hope for a Euro Great British Pound trade. And uh, we'll see how the US dollar, Canadian dollar goes. Keep an eye on the US dollar Japanese yen for an opening trade. And let's just see where the S&P 500 decides to go this week. But I, like I said, I am expecting a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a retracement this week due to the way the money flows are going to go. And then we should get a bullish run right through to the end of December. So it's Rob Guilty. It's logical trading. I don't know if I remember to introduce myself again. I probably forgot, but that's OK. <laughs> As long as you enjoyed the video and you got some information from it, that's great. Don't forget, trading's a 50-50 game. So manage your risk. Always manage your risk. Make more on your winners and, and lose less on your losers. It's as simple as that. It's the simplest trading game you can get. If you want to see my trading system, check out my other videos. I give my trading system to you for free. And do you know what? You can learn it in exactly 15 seconds. Make that 16 seconds. <laughs> it's so simple. Keep it simple. Don't get complicated and don't overcomplicate it. There is no magic tricks. It's pretty straightforward. Guys, that's trading for today. Until next time, which is probably later or tomorrow, we'll have another chat and we'll see what's going down. It's Rob Guilty. Bye. Have a good day.